okay let's continue our demonstration so let's click uh, play again and this is the message that will be shown by the debugger so at this point actually the debugger stops because it cannot proceed with the execution because this address is actually not reachable so our next task then is to basically place the address where we want the program to jump to uh, to the location where this address was found and we can see that on the stack so at this point the value of the stack point uh, the stack pointer is uh, at this point and the return address was actually located at this point so in order to develop our exploit we need to place the address of our payload or our shell, shell code to this location in this location and how do we determine this location so we can actually perform uh, some address arithmetic so what we can do uh, is that uh, you see here the start of uh, the input the location where the input was placed we can actually subtract this one from uh, this one or uh, I mean this one from this one to get the total number of A's so that uh, we will be able to place our address in this particular location so let's do that and luckily we already have a Python in uh, in our uh, system because uh, it was installed with immunity debugger so let's open python and we will be brought to the prompt and then let's paste so i already did the uh, oh it's not uh, it was not saved okay. okay so well let's do this manually so we simply perform uh, the subtraction so we get this address uh, 0013 zero, zero, ff70 you indicate that this is base 16 and we subtract that uh, we subtract from it the start of the address the start address of the parameter so that will be 0, 0, 1, 3 f e e c again base 16 and uh, let's get the result 132 meaning uh, we need to place 132 a's to the buffer and then we can place the address that we want to jump to so this is the magic number that we're looking for 132 so let's try that uh, let us rerun or open the program again and then let's put in 132 a so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 so we have 140 A's here uh, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is uh, 130 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this 130, 131, 132. So instead of putting here A's, let's put B's. So 1, 2, 3, 4 as the command line argument. And we'll see if we are able to overwrite the 
address. So click open and then we proceed with the execution. Uh, we press play. So since we added a breakpoint earlier, so we go directly to this memory location. And if we proceed using F8, okay, we will be transferred to the main function. And okay, again at this point, examine uh, the value of the stock. When we, at this point, we press F7. So this one again uh, is the value. And then uh, we press F8 and we execute until the string copy. So this is the call to the string copy which places the parameters to the stack. Okay. So what do we observe here? Uh, still nothing happens. So we press F8 just to get to where the return value is. So this is the value and we press enter. Oh, so it still exceeded the value so I perhaps I've uh, uh, placed more than the number of uh, A's so this will actually fail so let's do this again so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 control C control V so 20 40 60 80 100 uh, 120 130 so let's try 130 okay and then we press f8 or we just simply press play to go directly to the main program or the main function and then we proceed the execution again doing the same process and let's uh, check the stack after the call to the string copy here so you will notice that uh, oh I forgot to copy the value so again what we're doing here is finding the location of the return array so we have four uh, extra values here so let's do that again uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty forty sixty eighty one hundred one twenty so this was the input a while ago so 120 I copy this and then I simply remove 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay. and then I put B 1 2 3 4 let's see if that uh, input works for our purposes and then we perform the stepping through and then uh, so I think uh, we'll, be, okay, we'll continue for uh, for this execution and then we place a breakpoint here because this is where we're interested oh no not that the next instruction so F7 F8 so then we put a breakpoint here. So did we overwrite uh, the location? No, no, but we're near there. So uh, it's a hit and miss uh, operation. So 120, 
and I put a uh, B. So this is 120. So one, two, three, four. Let's try this input. And then we press, just press the play button. Okay. So what happened? We're still far, so we need how many A's? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to add eight A's. So that's V. One, two, three, four. And then we add eight A's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You copy this. And let's hope for the best that this will be this will hit our target uh, address so we need one more we need one more uh, letter B or letter A, A four A's more to hit this location so we open the file again uh, and then we add we four, add four A's one two three four Control A, uh, Control C, and we open that, and we play again, and there, we are in the right track. So we were able to place B here. So let's continue. Our goal is to halt the program with the values 42, 42, 42 being placed in the EIP. So we press F8. F8, 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 and then let's see. There. So at this point, we know that we've successfully overwritten the location with our Bs. As you can see here. So when you click play, it will prompt that this address is not readable because this is actually the bees that we placed on the start okay so that is uh, basically how we found the address at, uh, in this program or in this in this demonstration via trial and error so let's now uh, try so to use the exploit that we've developed so instead of doing things manually let's go over this code so this code pattern is similar to the exploit used in Linux. So this is the magic number that uh, we've uh, found using the uh, memory address uh, arithmetic that we did earlier. So uh, this has been covered already in the Linux uh, uh, tutorial or discussion. So uh, the payload will basically be, uh, uh, will consist of uh, NO, NOP sled, the shell code, uh, set of paddings, and the uh, return uh, IP. Okay, so this is the example that was uh, uh, the return IP is the address that will uh, be uh, pointing to the stack where the shell code will execute. So if we look at the code here the stack so this is the start of the stack containing our shell code or actually the NOP sled so 0013 FEEC and 0013 FEEC so we don't need to change this because uh, it's still the same as the one in the as, as the one downloaded from the from the github repository so we can use this as is and then uh, let's uh, create the exploit. So uh, we, we run Python and then we use uh, uh, exploit. Okay. So it shows here that the exploit, the Python code was able to generate uh, the exploit code. Okay, so it's here. So 
we open that in uh, notepad plus plus so this will be the payload and control a we copy this control a control c and then we run the program simple and we paste the generated generated payload here we click open and then click yes and then we click play okay. and then we click play again so as you can see here this is the start of the stack and you have uh, values here 90 which represent the NOP sled and after the 90 uh, the set of 90s we have the actual shell code and this is the padding and this is the jump address so this uh, structure or this contents in the stack will tell us that we have successfully exploited uh, this buffer overflow vulnerability so when we click play we should expect that the calculator windows calculator will pop up and there you have it we have successfully uh, exploited this vulnerable program and we are successful in launching windows calculator from uh, simple.exe okay so that will be uh, the demonstration thank you for uh, listening